My name is Sapnil and I will be your instructor in this Unity game series. I am a professional game developer with more than 3 years of game development experience. I have worked with multiple game companies like Outscale and Game Shastra and I have been an indie game developer also. So in this series, we will be creating Among Us game from scratch. We will learn about UI, 2D physics, AI, player controller and lot more. To follow this series, you should have a basic understanding about C Sharp and Unity Game Engine. If you are a complete beginner, then you can check out the resources provided in the description. So without any further delay, let's dive in. So here I have open Unity Hub. Then click on new to create a new project and make sure guys your Unity is uh, of 2018.3.14 version or above. I will suggest you guys to use the same Unity version I am using uh, so that we don't get any issues. Then select 2D and set the project name. So I will call this Among Us, Among Us Game whatever and you can save it wherever you want. I will save it on desktop and I will click on create. Okay, once the Unity is open, you may see the layout something like this. So this is Unity's default layout and you are free to change the layout because all these windows are movable. So first we will remove this asset store because we don't need it. So click on this and click on close tab and then we will arrange it the way we want it. So I will get my projects to here my hierarchy to here and my projects down here console up here okay and my game down here now this is what I love to use uh, you guys can set the layout as your wish so whichever layouts you feel better you can use it now we need to change our aspect ratio so first of all click on this free aspect and then click on this uh, 800 into 480 so if you guys don't have this resolution you can always go to this plus icon you can give the label like 800 into 480 480 and then here 800 into 480 and then click on ok and you will get the same resolution now so this is what the unity has created so let's rename this uh, folder we will call this among us and instead of sample scene we will call this game scene so first we will import our assets so we will import among us part one assets so the link to this asset will be provided just click on double click on that asset and click on import so after importing you will see we have this art asset in that we have this character we have this some map then we have uh, some ui asset all those things now first we will change our camera uh, background so select camera then go to inspector and here in our background select it select this color and we get this color picking option and we'll set the color to somewhat dark because we want it to be something like dark sky hey guys hope you're enjoying this episode my name is mayan grover i'm the founder of outscale i wanted to take a minute to tell you about our flagship game development program where we take students all the way from starting to job ready in six months we directly partner with over 100 plus game companies where we help students directly crack into these companies by giving them the right kind of skills, both technical as well as non-technical, and getting them in front of these companies for interview processes. If you're interested in becoming a full-stack game developer, please check out our website, www.outscale.com, or check the link in the description below. Now back to this episode. Okay. Now let's drag our map. So in our art asset, go to props, and here we have Among Us map SD. Just drag it. 
and we have something like this okay and let's drag our character so let's drag our this among us character zero so first of all we will create a empty game object and we'll call this player let's double click on it and let's drag our among us character zero to as a child of our player game object now if i double click on among us character you can see it is somewhat here so let's select the player select this uh, transform tool and let's move it to here so if you see guys right now our character is at the top of our map so let me just adjust my camera as well to here okay so right now our uh, player looks at the top but uh, if you see the lay uh, the sorting order so the sorting layer of among us map as well as this character uh, sprite is same which is default and the order is same in the layer so currently it is looking correct that our character is at the top and this is at the bottom but uh, this is random because unity randomly select which will be top and which will be at the bottom but if you want to make sure that our player is always on the top of this uh, map so that means it will be rendered on this top so we have to set this order layer so for what we'll do is in our among us map sd we will set the order in layer to minus 10 and this will make sure that all the uh, the sprite characters right which are in sorting layer default and whoever order in layer is greater than this minus 10 will be rendered above our map now this let's rename it to body and let's drag this thing as a child of this body and if you now see okay let's reset it and let's go up okay and let's set this to one so our and we'll call this eyes okay so this eye will be rendered at the top of the body now this looks perfectly fine so let's add some collider to our player so select the player click on add component and search for circle collider now as our game is in 2d we will add this circle collider 2d you can see this green gizmos active this is our collider the radius is 5 you can always adjust this but let's set it to be 5 it is best then click on add component and we need rigid body as well so here we have two rigid bodies we will using rigid body 2d for our 2d game and we don't want our gravity scale to be 1 we want it to be 0 now the reason we want it to be 0 is because if we set it to 1 and if we click on play you will see our character falls down as it is a top down game we don't want it to fall down so let's set the gravity scale to 0 okay so now we want to make our character move with our controls right so right now the, our character is staying where it is and is able to move so for that we will create a script for our player so let's create a new folder and we will call this scripts and inside these scripts we will create another folder and we will call this character and inside this character folder we will create a player controller Now select the player drag the player controller and let's double click on it to open it in editor so here we are using visual studio you can use any code editor you want so first thing we will add namespace outscale now we want to move our player right so we will need reference to our rigid body which is this and we also need a variable which decides the speed uh, with which our player will move
So here we are creating three variables. So first is a private float move speed. Then we have a private transform body. And then we have a private rigid body 2D RG body. Now we have made all of them serialized field so that we can edit them from our inspector. And we also have a private vector to move direction. So this stores the direction in which our player will be moved. Now move direction will be equal to a new vector to where we are setting its value input dot gate axis horizontal and input dot gate axis vertical. Now this input dot gate axis is unity's input system uh, values. So let's go to our unity editor and go to edit and go to project settings. So here we have input and here all these axes are defined. Here also we have this horizontal and vertical and you can see it has defined the buttons left button, right button for horizontal and here down and up whereas S and W like this for our vertical. So from here we are getting that information. So next we check uh, move direction dot x value. If it is not equal to zero that means we are clicking some of the keys uh, it can be A, it can be S, it can be D and all those things. So here we set our body dot local scale. Now what is local scale? If you go to player, if you go to body, this is a transform okay and this is the local scale. So what we are changing, we are setting local scale equal to new vector 2 and we are getting the sign of move direction dot x. So it can be positive or negative. So it can be minus 1 1 and we are setting y 1 forever. So here if it is positive, you can see it is looking towards the right side and if it is negative, it is looking towards the left side. So this is how we will be changing its direction. And next is we are moving our game object in a fixed update. Now the reason we are doing this is because we will be using rigid body, right? And whenever we use physics, we want to make sure that we do all the calculations of the physics in fixed update only, right? So we are calling rigid body dot velocity and we are setting it to be equal to move direction into move speed. Now if I save all this thing and go back to Unity, let's click on player. You can see we have all this option. Let's set the move speed to five. We have this body. Let's select. Uh, assign body to the field and we have this rigid body so assign rigid body 2d to it now if i click on play we should be able to move so if we use as like asw keys or arrow keys we should be able to move our character so if i move to left side it is looking left side if i move to right side it is looking right side Okay, it's look perfectly fine. Now we want to make sure our camera also follows our character, right? So for that, in our scripts folder, we will create a new C sharp script. So go to create C sharp script and we will call this camera follow. Double click on it and let's add the namespace. And let's remove the start and update we don't need it so we want first of all the target the camera is going to follow right and then we want to update our camera's position with respect to the target so what we will do is We create a new variable private transform and we call this target and we make it serialized field and then we use late update. So late update is unity's uh, inbuilt method and this is called after the update method is called and uh, 
we use the transform dot position is equal to target dot position. If we go back to our editor, select our main camera, set the camera follow script on it, and let's add a target. And uh, if we try now, so let's see what will happens. So if we click on play, you can see we see nothing. But the reason we are unable to see anything is because our camera is moving. You can see our camera is moving here. So if I click on pause and if I change the Z axis, you can see now we are able to see. So this Z value, we have to make sure it doesn't change because we are only going to move in X and Y axis. So what we will do is we will subtract the Z value. So minus vector 3 dot forward into 10. Now if we click on play, you can see our camera is now exactly at the same position as our player. You can see here Gizmos. And if I click on play, you can see our camera follows our character. Okay, great. That's nice. So guys, we are able to move our camera. We are able to move our player. So I think this is it for this video guys. And I will see you in the next video. So thank you for watching and bye. Thank you.